I don't usually do announcement type videos or update type videos because I, I try to release my content around a particular subject. But what I want to say is really small. I don't want to break it up into, you know, small, multiple small videos. Recently, I released a video on how to modify the Sonoff Basic to use as a garage door opener. And uh, that video was actually quite popular. It seems that people like that uh, concept and was missing that you know, the functionality. But um, when you order a new Sonoff, they usually you get the version 2 uh, hardware, which is this one. And I didn't have any, and I had to order a new one, and uh, this just came through, hoping that this would be released too, but actually this is released too. And I said that I'm going to make a second video on how you'd use the release 2 to be, you know, how to modify it to be a garage opener. And um, yeah, so here I am. I'm looking at this board, so this is version 2. And I don't want to do another video on how you'd modify it because I think this layout makes it much more difficult to modify it. I'm going to mention how it can be done, but I actually I wouldn't encourage anyone doing it because uh, yeah, just the clearances and everything in this board is so tight that I don't think it's safe. Well, definitely not as safe as doing it uh, with the with the earlier version. So I um, guess. You know, if you still want to do it, you are a little bit stuck because you you can't really guarantee that if if you order a new son of basic, then you would get the old version um, instead of getting the new version. So yeah, that's a little bit of bummer. But there is light at the end of the tunnel because amongst most of the uh, comments that I got, I got recommended a few products which you can use instead of a son of basic. Well, some of them are actually son of products, uh, others are not son of products. But since uh, I would recommend not using the Son of Basic. Let me talk about those. And I'm going to talk about three alternative products. And it doesn't mean that there are no other options available, but I want to give options to people who want to stay in an EV Link application. So they are not using a third party home automation system or anything like that, but they want to stick with the, this whole ecosystem. They don't want to make any modifications and they are fine using the, uh, the, the EV Link application as it is at the moment. The first option is the Sonoff SV, which uh, the SV states for safe voltage. And they, this is basically a stripped down version of the Sonoff Basic version 1 hardware, uh, which is missing all the electronic parts of it, which uh, converts the main voltage down to the 3.3 volts, which is required for all the chips to work. So it only works from lower voltages. And if you scroll down this page, you can find uh, a diagram as well how you connect it and that's basically how you would use it uh, for a garage door opener so you have the outputs and as you can see there are no terminals uh, uh, mounted on the PCB so you have to do some soldering if you want to use this so the outputs are the two wires that you are going to hook into the uh, the switch wires uh, in your garage motor obviously you have to consult the documentation of your garage motor to know which uh, terminals to connect into and then on the input terminals you would just have to supply an input voltage of between 5 and 24 volts so like something like a 12 volt power adapter or even probably an old uh, laptop power supply is going to be suitable for this one so simple as that uh, I would probably say that just get a, a you know very small you can get these 1 amp to have volts power adapters uh, from Amazon or eBay uh, just for a few bucks. So you connect those into the input, just make sure, just look at the, uh, the markings on the PCB, which one is positive and negative, and the outputs get connected to the garage motor. And setting this up is, you know, normal uh, sort of procedure. You have the, the pairing button, you hold it down, it goes to pairing mode, you add it to your uh, EV link application and then you set up all the different options that you have seen in the previous video So you set the inching to let's say half a second and it's going to work. It's going to open and close your garage door The next and the slightly Sophisticated option is this particular product which I was recommended by one of the viewers in the comment section And it's available on Amazon and it's called the HM Cozy wireless smart switch relay module and then so on and again, this is designed to uh, operate or work from low voltage. You can see the input terminal here, and it is also a micro USB uh, jack. And you have the, the relay on the other side, which can uh, switch. And this is also designed so it doesn't pass the input voltage over. So you have the th uh, three terminals of the relay that you can use to switch 
mains voltage or also low voltage which you would need uh, for a garage door opener and um, you might find similar models uh, throughout eBay but this one this HM Cozy is actually uh, designed to work with the EVLink application so again you can integrate it into your EVLink app and if you look into the uh, the images here then um, Oh yeah, so this is the image. So you have two input terminals here on the on the left side, so you can use the micro USB. Again, you just get a spare micro USB power supply to power the whole thing. And on the output side of it, you would connect your garage door to the COM and the NO output. So that's the basic connection. So the COM and the NO goes to your garage motor, micro USB on the other side provides power. And once you power it up, you just follow the normal pairing procedure and then you set up the device and in the settings you set the inching to half a second and it's going to work just as good as uh, the modified Sonoff Basic that I showed in the previous video. The third option is yet another Sonoff product is the 4-channel. The difference between the 4-channel and the, the Sonoff Basic, well obviously it is 4-channel so it can switch 4 things at the same time. It can also be powered from the mains as you can see here. Um, you have the, the input connectors for mains, so 90 to 250 volts. If you only have low voltage uh, uh, around your garage motor, you can also use 5 to 24 volts, so it's really up to you. But again, the main difference which makes it um, ideal for garage motors instead of switching general outputs is that all the three ports of the relay, so the common, the new normally open and normally closed connections, are on separate outputs, so they are not connected to the mains at any point. So you can use this, for example, let's say that you're going to use a relay one to operate your garage door. So again, just like on the MH Cozy example, you would connect common and NO normally open to your garage door, and that's going to work just fine. And then you still have free outputs that you can use for something else. So for example, you can use relay two to operate your gate which usually work the same way as garage door motors. So they have two terminals that you need to short together to open or close the gate. So again, you can use the common and the NO on relay two to do that. And then for the other three, two, maybe you can use a light in your garage or the porch light or you know some lights on the driveway to also turn on whenever the, the garage door is opened. So these are the three options that you can use within the EVLink application. Of course, if you're not using EVLink, there are a lot more options available for you. But for whatever reason, if you insist to modify your Son of Basic Release 2 board for a garage and opener, the way you do it is, again, so that's your Son of board, that's the button, and you turn it around and you would have to cut a trace, just like in a previous uh, mod, you would have to cut a trace between here and that's why I said that it's really hard to implement because uh, you have here a solder connection for the relay and then you also have a solder connection solder connection for a fuse which is I think it's uh, providing supply to the power circuitry or the power supply part of it so this fuse or basically this point has to be connected to the main and this has, uh, should not be connected. So you can Dremel another slot through, but they are really, really close to each other. So, and, and again, you have mains here, you don't have to, well, you shouldn't have mains here. So the, uh, the chance of, I don't know, like an arc or something happening here and then pro potentially destroying the, uh, your motor, your garage motor is, is I, I think it's high. But again, if you insist, you would need to cut this trace here. So maybe Dremel through here. So that would be one. And just make sure that these two uh, connections or these two solder uh, connections are not connected at all. And then once you have that, so the second step is that you desolder this black wire. And you need to pass it through this slot because you have to solder it onto here. You can probably pass this if you just drill this uh, slot out just a little bit bigger. So you, you solder it into that point. 
and that would complete the conversion but as I said I don't think it's safe enough and I will definitely not do it so I think that should be the end of the story unfortunately the other thing is that if you are a regular viewer of my channel you probably have seen two of my videos about some of the Zemi Smart uh, products that integrate with the Tuya Smart application and I wanted to continue along that line because um, I made extensive videos about how you could use some of devices and the EVLink application and I thought I'd give it a try another ecosystem which is again like a hub less so all the individual devices are uh, communicating directly with the cloud so we have seen two products uh, one was a wireless switch and a receiver and the other one was a floodlight and next I wanted to go back to one of the standard products which is a physical light switch and uh, so I've ordered this one which uh, probably I'm going to receive in a couple of months so I will be able to make a video on this and this is an EU version of a smart uh, light switch so it will be similar to the Sonoff Touch or the T1 uh, but in the Tuya Smart app and since I would this would be the third product in the Tuya Smart app I'm hoping that I can explore the automation within the application same as I have done with the um, EV link so I would be able to give you an idea of how you can do certain automation in the Tuya Smart app and since I'm talking about Zemi Smart and their product I also wanted to mention that they um, notified me that they are going to have a shopping carnival so I think this is some sort of anniversary shopping that they are having amongst all their products so if you want to buy something and you want to explore this ecosystem as well then that's the right time because uh, just for a few days there's going to be some well special discounts and also some you know coupons in depending on how much you purchase the reason I want to talk about and spend a little bit more time on Tuya because uh, this is an ecosystem or an app where you have a vendor who is providing all the cloud services and then on the other side you have uh, other companies who are manufacturing the individual devices so Tuya provides a cloud solution and and all the you know the smart functionality for manufacturers who don't want to you know run their own cloud service and a separate app so if I compare it to uh, IT then Sonoff IT has their own products maybe a dozen or so or you know slightly more number of products and they also have an app to go with those products as long as you can do everything that you want with Sonoff products then you are fine because you are in one system and you know all the functionality is provided by Sonoff devices but uh, there are probably certain things that you might want to do in Sonoff but you don't have a particular uh, hardware for it um, I mean in terms of controlling devices you can just pretty much rely on the basic to control you know whatever device you want but let's say if you have a air conditioning unit and you want to be able to control the temperature you can't use a Sonoff to turn it on and off because usually you need um, you know to send them some special signals what temperature to set the AC on uh, you know the fan speed and some of the other details but since Tuya is used by many different uh, hardware manufacturers you might be able to find a specific product which works with a, with a Tuya service or the Tuya application so you can have direct control of that device and not just basically using a smart plug or a you know something like that to control a device on and off I mean in most cases it wouldn't even work but as you can see if I go over to the products and solution we have the usual suspects as you know smart plugs and switches and bulbs but on the other hand you have all sorts of kitchen electronics and environment uh, and health sensors and also devices dehumidifiers and water purifiers uh, which you can control directly from the Tuya app and you might say that well I can just you know use my dehumidifier and then put a sort of basic to it and then I can just control it turn it on and off and that's fine but in some cases it doesn't work because most of these new devices have soft buttons so just powering them off and on wouldn't well they would definitely turn them off but it wouldn't turn them on to start for example you know dehumidifying the air so for these you need specific devices and those specific devices might not be available in in sort of hence you might want to turn something else and then you know look at something different so stay tuned for these future videos thanks for watching and hopefully see you in the next episode